Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is day one of our May 2023 release. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's brand new Gnome Dyes Garden Add-ons along with their Wheelbarrow Dye, their Happy Gardening Stamp Set and the Happy Gardening Outline Dyes along with our Gnome Dyes. And I'm also using uh, Honey Bee's Over the Rainbow 6-inch pad. So first off, I'm starting with a piece of Paper Tray Ink uh, New Leaf cardstock cut at 5.5 by 8.5, uh, scored at 4 and a quarter inches to give you a horizontal A2 size card. And then now I'm adding on um, this cloud paper from that uh, Honey Bee pad cut at one eighth of an inch smaller than an A2 size card base. And I'm going to stick that down with some ATG tape. And I'm just trying to line it up in the center as well as I can. It's kind of this cute cloud background. There we go. Just making sure it's all straight. On the inside, I'm going to add a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock cut at um, I believe it's four by five and a quarter inches. But I'm just adding, you know, some white cardstock to write on on the inside. Now you could certainly write with a dark pen and it would show up, but I like to add some white. Oh, you know what? That might have been a little bit smaller, but it doesn't really matter. Um, now I'm going to add on a one inch strip of paper from that same Honey Bee Stamps over the rainbow pad, just one inch. And I'll add that with some ATG tape and I'll cut off the overhang with a pair of scissors. There we go. and you know just trying to decorate the inside a little bit now i'm going to add these two little seed packets from the build a booth um oh that's a sneak peek for tomorrow sorry guys that's from the build a booth um garden add-on so shh you're not supposed to know about that okay now i'm adding on um a sentiment on the inside from that happy gardening stamp set and i use the outline dies to cut it out that was stamped on diverse fine claire are stamped with VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink onto 80 pound um, Nina Solar White cardstock. Now I went ahead and I cut out the dirt piles from that wheelbarrow die um, uh, three times out of dark chocolate paper tray ink cardstock and I'm going to run that along the bottom like a border. Um, sort of like he's, my little gnome is sitting in a garden and he's gardening. So I'm just adding that with some art glitter glue, just trying to get it straight. And then I will trim off anything that overhangs, but that's what I'm going for. Just like piles of dirt, right? Kind of fun, a fun little background. There we go. And I just think that this is the sweetest little set that they've come up with lately. So this is my gnome that I put together on the Gnome Dyes Garden, Garden Add-ons assembly video. You can check it out. So that's my gnome. Um, I did use the normal gnome dies and the like I said the new add-ons for that viney hat so I'm just sticking that down now the green um, little vine is cut out of um, new leaf cardstock from paper tray ink the little dot paper that's from doodlebug's um, citrus dot stripe now I've got the little tools that was all put together during that assembly video Pure Poppy cardstock, American Crafts silver cardstock, and P13 stamping pad skin tones. His little beard is cut out of American Crafts brown cardstock. Um, the little wood handle of that wheelbarrow was cut out of Jimin Tindalo. It's like a wood grain cardstock. And then Pure Poppy for the main part of the um, wheelbarrow. The little tulips were cut out of lemon tart. There we go. And, Amer and um, also paper train black cardstock for the wheel. So I'm just trying to decide where that's going to end up. There we go. And um, I'm going to pop up the little tulips uh, with some scrapbook adhesives. They're little black foam squares. And I'm just going to pop those up. And then I'll be able to stick the rest of it down with some art glitter glue. So I love this new wheelbarrow. It is so cute. And if you'd like to see me put it together, it's on the um, it's at the end of the release and review video. Um, it's very straightforward though, but you know, if you need some help, check that video out and that can, you know, you can check that out, like I said. So the May 2023 release and review. Okay, so now I'm adding on some art glitter glue. 
and I'm going to pop that down. Um, I kind of want it so the flowers don't hang over the side of the card too much. I'm just figuring out how it's going to look. I will trim off that handle in a second here once I figure out where it's going to fit. There we go. And I'll tuck that behind the hat a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to pop up the sentiment that, like I said, that was stamped onto Versafine Claire Noct or stamped with Versafine Claire Nocturne ink onto Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. And I use the outline die to cut them out, which is really handy. All my die cutting today was done with my Gemini as per usual. So I'm going to stick that down using my reverse tweezers. There we go. And I think it looks super cute. But now I'm going to add on um, some doodle bug shape sprinkles and these are from what is it called again oh heart to heart and i'm just going to add some yellow ones and i do move the one that i have in the upper um, right hand corner because i just didn't like where it looked you know i didn't like the look of it and i changed my mind after i stopped filming i just decided to move it over so it's a little bit closer of a visual triangle and you'll see that in the um, in the pictures at the end of the video. So that's all. A super fast and easy card. And just trying to decide if I need any more. But I just find this super easy. Now I'm pulling out a secure white jelly roll pen in a number 10. And I'm just going to add a few little highlights. Nothing special. Just find it adds a little something something to your design. There we go. And I just think this turned out super cute. I am loving the brand new Gnome Dyes Garden add-ons along with the, the adorable wheelbarrow die. Like, come on. And that Happy Gardening stamp set and outline dies are fabulous. I just think that they are wonderful. And, um, you know, just a few little tiny highlights here and there, I think, add a lot to a design. And uh, these dies make for fast card designs, I think. So there we go. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, be inspired by the rest of the team. The Jada Blossom store to get your hands on the gotta have it now. Otherwise, you'll have to wait till later in the week um, to buy things a la carte. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to come by tomorrow because I will have, no, I will have more videos for you to see. And thanks as always for watching and we will see you soon. Bye, everybody.